Woman forced to wear special mouth cuffs to permanently deprive her of the right to speak because she was rejected last night when she offered to make love to her husband after disciplining his wife. He began to sentence his daughter. He spied on her changing her clothes behind the door and his wife saw him do it. It's a sin. Seemly towards his virgin daughter if she passed the flower of her age and if need so requires, let him do what he will. Fash me up. However, her warning did not scare her husband, but she was beaten. She was in pain every day, but her husband was still preaching the scriptures. He is loved by the villagers because he is the only priest in the area. Anna did not understand her mother's choice. She said she would never leave like her mother did. Without saying anything, her mother left in silence with tears in her eyes. But the next moment, she fell from the sky and hung herself in front of everyone. This was the greatest resistance she could do. That was to use her death to tell everyone that her husband was a living evil. And instead of repenting, her husband angrily accused his wife of desecrating the church. Her soul would not rest in peace after her death. Anna watched this scene for a long time and could not calm down. She knew that her mother had died because of her. Not long ago, Anna had just had her period and thought she was seriously ill. Her mother reassured her that it was a sign of becoming a woman. She then taught Anna about physiology and bathed her. But just then the reverend breaks into the bathroom. He said that the blood had defiled Anna's sanctity. It wouldn't be long before men began to discover Anna's charms. So until then, Anna needs to keep men at arm's length. But that doesn't include her father. Her mother saw all this clearly. To protect her daughter, she unbuttons her shirt at night and makes a pass at her husband. But he rejected her mercilessly. He also said that God had other plans. Since then, the reverend's attention has been focused on his daughter. His wife's repeated attempts to stop him were rewarded with a whipping. Now that the mother is gone, it's a relief. But Anna's nightmare was just beginning. The day she was forced by her father to take her to the church and asked to be married to him. Anna resists desperately. The reverend then takes out his mouth cuffs and forces her to marry him. Just before the ceremony, a man pushes in the door. He is a homeless man that Anna saved a while ago and has heard about Anna's father's perverted behavior. He puts a gun to the reverend's head and forces him to give Anna back the key to her mouth cuffs. But his gun was turned by the reverend due to a moment of carelessness. I am as God. He is as I am. As a result, not only did he fail to save Anna, but he was also killed. The reverend then grabbed Anna's legs and dragged her through the mud. He took his whip and beat her in anger. Anna will never forget this night. When she woke up, she ran like crazy, from the green fields to the desert, until her white dress changed color and she collapsed to the ground in despair. But her ordeal did not end there. The woman was blindfolded with a black veil and walked straight to the whoremaster. But she could never have imagined that this man was her father. The moment the veil was removed, Anna's eyes were filled with horror. I am here to save you so that you can save me. She tried to resist but was whipped. Anna thought that by leaving home she would be free from her father's control. But fate clearly did not intend to let her go free. When she escaped, Anna was rescued by a family passing by. The man saw her beauty and had a bad idea. He was going to sell her to the city for money. Anna naively thought they were good people and went along with them. But she soon found out that the tavern was not just about selling wine. Only when she found out too late. And we do all the moaning and groaning because that makes sure it's over faster. At first, Anna was only given some odd jobs because she was still young. But the whoremaster didn't care about that. He just groped her. Just when Anna was at a loss for words, a girl named Sally came forward to help her out. She suggested that if he let Anna go, this order would be free. The man readily agreed, but asked Anna to watch the whole thing. However, the whoremaster was beating Sally. Anna was terrified by the scene and raised her gun to aim at him precisely. But the more scared she is, the more excited the man becomes. He was even ready to take Anna by force. Just then, Although Sally saves Anna again, but she was also going to face the fate of being hand. Such was the status of women in those days. Not to mention the lowest class of women. A few years passed, Anna grew more and more beautiful. But in this hell with no exit, her heart grows colder by the day. The only time she could regain her vitality was when she was with her friend Liz. But that peace is soon shattered. One day, Liz offends an important customer by refusing to kiss. To quell the anger of the crowd, the owner cut out Liz's tongue in full view of everyone and left her forever without the possibility of resistance. Luckily, someone was willing to accept Liz as a new girl and provide her with a full home. But the night before Liz left, a man paid for the entire tavern and said he would handpick the girl he liked. Anna peeks in curiously, only to see that the customer was her perverted father. She walks downstairs slowly with a black veil over her eyes to hide her identity. But she is still recognized by her father. To punish Anna for leaving the house, her father beat her with a whip. Her terrified cries for help brought in her best friend Liz. Liz slashes his face with a knife. The reverend is enraged and sticks a knife into Liz's chest instead. In a panic, Anna pulls out a dagger and stabs her father in the neck. Anna completely calmed down and shoved the knife into her father's hand and then set the place on fire and prepares for her second escape. She will live as her best friend Liz. 
The girl sticks out her tongue and orders the doctor to cut it out, but the doctor hesitated to do it. The girl grabbed the scalpel and slashed it without hesitation. If she could get rid of her demon father, she could do nothing to fear. After leaving the doctor's place, Anna takes the role of her best friend and marries a widower. They raised a son and a daughter together after their marriage. Life was simple and happy, but all this happiness is soon shattered by the new priest in town. Hearing that familiar voice, Anna's eyes became hollow. New Reverend was her father. It turns out that the knife she stabbed did not end his life. The Reverend had miraculously survived. But strangely, he did not rush to meet his daughter. Instead, he created an image of his selflessness. Just after the prayer, a pregnant woman suddenly went into labor. Anna, as the only midwife, had to stay with her during the birth. However, there was a problem during the delivery. The baby's head was too big and the mother and the baby had to choose one of them. Anna had no choice but to save the mother. This choice also angered the father of the child. He blamed Anna for the loss of his son. He set a fire one drunken night to seek revenge on Anna. Just then the reverend arrived and quickly persuaded the man to leave. I thought this would be the end of it but the next day, all the sheep in her house died suddenly and unexpectedly. And his husband thinks the man from yesterday must have done it. So A is furious and wants to seek justice. But this was all the reverend's plan, so that he could get to Anna's daughter while she was unsuspecting. While Anna was disposing of the sheep, the reverend secretly locked the door to her room and sneaks up on Anna's daughter. He took her away under the guise of playing a game. Anna saw the anxiety and tried to climb out the window, but she was too frightened and fell unconscious. When she came to her senses, that door was open. Her daughter was lying unharmed in the house. Mama, are you evil? The reverend said you murdered a man. Anna knew that her father would never let her go so easily, so she planned to sneak to her father's house in the middle of the night to end his life. But he wasn't here. By the time Anna arrived home, her husband was dead, and the house was in flames. Fortunately, her daughter and stepson's lives were not in danger. Anna calmed down and began her third escape with her two children. She prepared to go to her grandfather's house in the north for refuge. A dead antelope blocked the carriage path. When her stepson saw this, he got out of the car to check the situation, but he had not gone far when he was ambushed. Anna didn't have to think about it to know that her father must have done it, but she had no time to grieve. To survive, she had to go on another journey. Grandpa was bent over by the news of the loss of his son and grandson. To keep the last of people in the family safe, Anna volunteered to carry the gun and stay outside the house all night. When the day dawned, the Reverend came out of the woods. Your daughter shall suffer for your actions. And I will make you watch as I chastise her. He finished by warning Anna never to leave her beloved alone. Anna heard this and quickly ran back to her room. When she looked back, she saw that her grandfather had been killed. Anna rushed to pick up her daughter and hide in the basement. But it was too late. The reverend dragged her out and tied her to a stake. The reverend wanted to fulfill his promise. He made Anna watch her daughter's humiliation. But the reverend clearly underestimated the power of a mother. Anna's anger was so great. That she twisted her arms around her body to the limit. Then she bit the rope with her mouth. While her father was undressing, she grabbed the well lamp and threw it. The demon was instantly engulfed in flames. This time Anna remembered the previous lesson and immediately fired a shot. Thus ending his life. Since then, Anna and her daughter have lived a quiet life. But it was clear that misfortune had no intention of sparing her. One day, a police officer found her with a warrant for her friend Liz's arrest. It turns out that Liz had killed the tavern owner before saving her life. Now Anna lives as Liz and has to pay the price for it. Finally, in this beautiful place in the mountains, this woman, who had fought for her whole life, was sunk into the water, ending her tragic and short life. The equal rights that women enjoyed in today's civilized society did not come about naturally. It has been fought for step by step over generations. The cost has been a lot of blood and lives. I saw someone say that Anna's mother took suffering lying down. I think so, and I don't think so. After all, she was limited by both society and faith in those days. She fought as hard as she could, under the belief that obedience to her husband was her vocation. In the end, she even humiliated her husband by dying in public. Anna's resilience was not inherited from her seemingly weak but strong mother.